Whatever is changing the jet stream, where you feel it is in an airplane. This is your cabin crew speaking. We're experiencing some moderate turbulence. Please return to your seats and fasten your seatbelts forever. Okay, maybe not forever. But heads up, climate change could make air travel a whole lot bumpier. In fact, according to the study, by the middle of the century, the volume of airspace experiencing light turbulence could increase by about 60% and severe turbulence by almost 150%. Clear air turbulence, the kind that happens without the presence of clouds, is the result of wind shear which is a change in wind speed or direction over a short distance. That rapid change in airflow is what can lead to bumpy conditions. And the jet stream contains about three times more clear air turbulence than the rest of the atmosphere. It's also the jet stream where commercial airlines take advantage of that fast moving air when traveling from west to east. It's at this height, between 9,000 to 12,000 meters, that some research has already begun to detect an increase in the wind shear. And that's because at these heights, the air above the tropics is warming faster than the air above the Arctic, resulting in an increase in temperature difference that drives the jet stream faster and as a result, drives more wind shear. The more CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere, the more this trend looks to continue and the more air turbulence the models predict. So what does this mean for the future of aviation? Well, there's hope that the skill of clear air turbulence forecasts and in-flight detection will continue to improve. But at the end of the day, curbing CO2 is still the only real clear answer.